Absolutely. And if you were out driving into the city early this morning, you already know we have some patchy, dense fog, uh, very thick just to the south of the city, challenging certainly to drive through. And this uh, dense fog advisory is in effect at least until around 9 o'clock this morning. To couple that with another problem, we are getting reports of visibilities dropping off dramatically as close as New York City. Look at JFK down to a quarter of a mile. When the visibility at JFK drops off to a quarter of a mile, they certainly will slow things down on the runways. So if you're headed up, you're up at 6 o'clock or 6.01 this morning because you're racing to get to the airport, just know that you are likely to run into delays when you get down to a quarter of a mile. Same thing in Belmar, a couple of miles in the city at this point, but patchy, dense fog out there throughout the day. Here's a look at the uh, forecast then for the rest of this afternoon. 62 degrees, we get some clouds and showers coming in here. Everything is light, but it's just a little damp, Nathan, and a little drearier than yesterday. Yesterday. Prospect Park? Yeah, there you go. Just this Prospect Park here. This is just fog. This is getting a little bit better. This is into uh, New Jersey. We've had some really incredibly dense fog down here, getting a little bit better. But right now, still some areas of patchy dense fog, also north of the city. And then you can see east of the city, we actually have some light showers out there. Checking the live radar, they are picking up those live showers. The showers will become more widespread as the day continues. So we're looking for more of those showers to get in. There you go, some clouds across the area. We got the patchy dense fog, which is really filling in throughout New Jersey. If you're driving in from New Jersey, very tough. And if you're headed to the major regional airports, could be slow going there as well. But this is the main front. It's not a huge big deal, but it does have some showers. We also got this little system out in the Atlantic, and it's picking some showers very close to the eastern end. That's what's responsible for those showers on the eastern end of Long Island. But this afternoon, we get this cold front coming through the area. A cold front is the leading edge of cooler, drier air. So you've got to get through the showers first, which is today. And then tomorrow, we get into this, which will be a plenty of sunshine, but breezy and much cooler. The good news is the longer this high stays on top of us, the better our weather gets. The winds will calm down, the temperatures will warm up, and we'll get back into those uh, upper 50s, lower 60s by the time we hit the weekend. So really, some great weather ahead for you. Today, we're in 62 degrees. We've got the showers coming through. Tomorrow is when it cools off quite a bit. Afternoon highs tomorrow, just in the low 50s. Full five-day forecast today. Keep in mind, we have the showers. We're at 62 degrees. Tomorrow, Veterans Day should be fine. At least we don't have any rain. Actually, dense fog. So take a look. This computer uh, is actually live and interactive, and it will show you specifically the weather conditions in each area. So there you go, where you see just the cloud uh, that is around where you go. Park? Yeah, there you go. Just to the south Prospect Park here, this is just fog. This is getting a little bit better. This is into uh, New Jersey. We've had some really incredibly dense fog down here, getting a little bit better. But right now, still some areas of patchy dense fog, also north of the city. And then you can see east of the city, we actually have some light showers out there. Check in the live radar. They are picking up those live showers. The showers will become more widespread as the day continues. So we're looking for more of those showers to get in. There you go. Some clouds across the area. We got the patchy dense fog, which is really filling in throughout New Jersey. If you're driving in from New Jersey, very tough. And if you're headed to the major regional airports, could be slow going there as well. But this is the main front. It's not a huge big deal, but it does have some showers. We also got this little system out in the Atlantic, and it's kicking some showers very close to the eastern end. That's what's responsible for those showers on the eastern end of Long Island. But this afternoon, we get this cold front coming through the area. A cold front is the leading edge of cooler, drier air. So you've got to get through the showers first, which is today. And then tomorrow, we get into this, which will be a plenty of sunshine, but breezy and much cooler. The good news is the longer this high stays on top of us, the better our weather gets. The winds will calm down. The temperatures will warm up, and we'll get back into those uh, upper 50s, lower 60s by the time we hit the weekend. So really some great weather ahead for you. Today we're at 62 degrees. We've got the showers coming through. Tomorrow is when it cools off quite a bit. Afternoon highs tomorrow just in the low 50s. Full five-day forecast today. Keep in mind we have the showers. We're at 62 degrees. Tomorrow Veterans Day. South we have the center of a tropical storm. Tropical storm Sean with maximum sustained winds of 65 miles per hour. <clears throat> in season these tropical systems just wind up and go about their merry way. But we're starting to get to the end of the season and what's happening here is this little piece is just getting pulled apart from the tropical system so there's your tropical system and here's the energy just getting elongated pulled up into our area so the eastern end of long island starting to see some showers uh, indirectly related to tro uh, tropical storm sean those showers come through later on this afternoon and that's the leading edge of the cooler air here's your full five-day forecast got some showers and fog today tomorrow we're at 53 degrees 57 on saturday Saturday, Sunday, very, very nice. Up to 60 degrees again. That's what I mean. We keep warming right back up. An opportunity to win a bunch of cool prizes. Log on picks11.com. We've got trips. We've got tickets. You name it. We've got it. Trust me.